Welcome back everyone and happy Halloween. Taking a look at downstream right now, I wanted to show you this view because we've got a little bit of blue sky starting to peek through. After the rain and the cold front move through, blue sky showing up and I think we'll actually see sunny skies by the time we head throughout this afternoon in Springfield. Currently in Joplin, 54 degrees, so it's much cooler than it has been. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was somewhere where there was no air conditioning yesterday. It was a gym. It was so warm. Very unusual for late October. West Northwest winds at about 13 miles per hour and that dew point at 46. Here's what it looks like on satellite and radar. That clearing line is out towards I-49, so in the Joplin area. The cloud coverage is going to continue to clear from west to east and we do have a few showers in our far, far, far reaches of our eastern parts of our viewing area. We'll soak up that rain. It was so needed. Now overnight we had that cold front move through. Strong winds blew through. We're getting a couple reports of a few um, downed trees or some roof damage in the Forsyth area. Also I saw one from Willard, but other than that I really didn't see any major wind damage reports. What we did pick up though, rain. Most everyone saw an inch to about an inch and a quarter, but a few places actually got closer to two inches. Rolla, uh, Stockton, the Mountain Home area, West planes at an inch and a half. This was wonderful. We needed this and you know what? We've got more in the forecast too. For today, warming up to the low 60s. We should pull out some sunshine by later in the day. Winds will be out of the north. It will be a little breezy. If you're heading out with trigger treaters tonight, you'll definitely want a jacket, maybe even a heavier jacket because it will be in the mid 50s by about 6 p.m. We'll see those northeast winds calm down a little as well. And overnight temperatures, whew, We've not been this cool for a while, right around 40 degrees. Few places actually making it into the 30s. Here's what we've got. A little bit of a flip for the pattern. We're going to see Gulf moisture just rain right into our area over the next couple of days. This will start Saturday and will continue until Wednesday. And we're going to see a chance of rain nearly every day. I don't think it's going to be just rain the entire time, but by Saturday night, that rain chance will increase into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. How much could we see? We're going to need this, but I do think this will lead to some flash flooding issues. Three to five inches, possibly higher amounts locally across the area and on the lower side out to our east. But all in all, we are in severe drought-like conditions. This is going to be such a godsend, such a help to us, and I know a lot of people will take the rain. Here's what we've got overnight tonight. 40 degrees, 68 on Friday. Not bad at all. 48 degrees for your overnight temperature on Saturday. And then Saturday, the rain comes in late. This is the coolest weekend we've had yet this season, I think. And then 73 on Monday, so back into the 70s, but still very fall-like across the area.